crochet and single ply. Perfect. Hey all my crafty friends, welcome to another episode with me, Marquita of Marquita's Naughty Crush. I'm so happy that you decided to join me today and see what I've been working on lately. So I don't have any finished objects, but I do want to start with a project I hope that I would finish by, what is it, the 4th, for the Star Trek Discovery um, final season premiere. It's not going to happen. If you hear some chirping in the background, that's Peaches, my little cockatiel. I love him so much. So, <clears throat> unfortunately, but fortunately, I've got a lot done, but there's no way I'm going to finish it because I have to go out of town for work. <sighs> and the date is just creeping up on me. And we went on vacation to the Tennessee Aquarium and had a great time this weekend and la la la. Good times, fun times, and it ain't going to get done. <laughs> so... So here is what I have finished so far. This is the Optus. This is the Optus shawl by Natalie of Detroit Knots, which I've been going on and on and on about. Um, it's not going to get finished, but it is a beautiful. You see that little string? It is a beautiful to beautiful Tunisian crochet shawl. Look at that. Oh, look at that stitch definition. And oh, it's 100% superwash merino. It's a single ply. Oh, crochet and single ply. Perfect together. Perfect together. I have shared this yarn before in the project before, so I won't talk a whole lot about it. But it's going to blossom. It's going to bloom. It's going to get really large and perfect, just like I like it. Oh, single ply. Single ply. It's just my favorite with crochet. So I'm not going to be finished with it anytime soon. Um, I am using um, Lika, Lika hooks, um, Tunisian crochet hooks for it. And I went down one size. And other than that, the pattern has been easy to follow. I am the problem. It's not it. It's me. It's not the pattern. It's me. <laughs> And that's okay. <laughs> it's just my counting gets off sometimes. But other than that, it's been very easy to follow. And I don't have much more to go. So I'm en enjoying it. But letting my hands take a little break. I have been working on my second hexagon cardigan. Which I absolutely love because it has all the spring colors that I love, 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 love so much. And this works up really, really fast. It works up too fast. So, in my opinion, it hasn't really taken away too much from my Tunisian crochet shawl. That just takes a while because it's fingering weight. So, I have been color controlling this yarn, which is Lion Brand Mandala. Color, the color is Mothra. Very beautiful. Very beautiful yarn. Um, I think this is a three weight. This is a three weight, 590 yards. Beautiful, beautiful. If I leave out any details about colors and all that good stuff, you can find more on my Kofi account where I have longer content for Kofi members. So be sure to check the description box below and join as a Kofi member. And this is a beautiful yarn. So I am not quite sure how I'm going to finish out the color sequence, but I'm so close. I'll definitely be able to enjoy it this spring. So that's the yarn I'm using for that. And I am using my weapons of mass creation. <laughs> weapons of mass creation bag that I got from the Fiber in the Borough Festival. I don't believe that, no, I don't believe that this business um, exists any longer. So, uh, but I think it was the wool and frog. Um, unfortunately. So that's my second whip. My third whip, I put on the back burner to try and get, um, I keep calling it the Star Trek shawl done, but how did I wrap this around? I put it on the back burner to finish the obtuse shawl by Natalie of Detroit Nuts. 
it, but this was my freestyle shawl. I, I didn't realize it at the time, but it kind of looks like a giraffe print, which I'm loving. Um, but this is 100% llama lace. This is a custom dye from Zippy Zebra. And I really like it. And I love eyelets in spring. Not really summer for some reason, but spring. And so I don't really like lace very much. Lace is really not my look. But I do like something similar to eyelets. And that was the inspiration for this. Very, very simple all double crochet all double crochet and this color this color is an undyed llama lace the yarn that was used is cascade yarns llama lace. <laughs> and it feels amazing but llama good llama it's just beautiful amazing so that is my third whip and that's what i plan on to work on for the rest of spring as well as for my Nina, the Midnight Library socks were inspired by my need for to make a stretchy sock for my youngest daughter, who's almost 10, her birthday's coming up, um, a stretchy sock for her growing foot, but I wanted a crochet sock. And it is the half double crochet that really helps give crochet some stretch and give it a nice... Um, What's the word? It worked in the way that I made the Midnight Library socks. It gives it a nice texture. That's what I was about to say when you work back and forth rows. So what I have done was decide I wanted a stronger sock. So I'm pairing this Queensland Collection Rainbow Beach 100% um, Superwash Australian Superwash Wool with a mohair classic from ice yarns to give it some technique oh no integrity integrity not technique i was thinking some structure and anyway some integrity so that it will last longer not fall apart while she's walking and yes it will be a heavier sock well not really heavier because wool is so light but um it will be a heavier weight sock as far as combining the two together instead of it being a fingering weight it'll probably be more of a dk or maybe a heavier maybe a true dk weight and she wanted on this house sock so that will work but that is all that i have to share with you guys today i'm going to do some straightening up <laughs> and also i'm going to be recording more uh, for my kofi members more of my recent purchases i got goodies more of my recent purchases um, and a few more future plans. One will include these yarns from Paper Crane Yarns and Beachy Breezy, Breezy Beach, Beachy Breeze <laughs> Yarn Company, Fiber Company. All those details <laughs> will be left <laughs> um, with my Kofi members because uh, it's a much longer content and much more descriptive. So that's all I have to share with you today. If you're interested, check out um, the link to the Kofi account below. Um, I hope that you describe, subscribe um, to receive notifications. Ring that bell for new videos to come. And hopefully I will have a summer tutorial. Um, I have a few things in the work um, possibly for summer. But anyways, thanks for joining me and I will see you again in the next one. Bye.